Hey guys, alright, so here's the two clip I'm going to be using today to uh, make this video uh, that you see in the beginning earlier. So I have two clips here that I shot during the tea ceremony. And uh, the first clip, I have the couple move toward the middle. Okay, um, this is the first time I did this, so it's always good to to make sure um, that you have a point where it's consistent. So uh, I didn't think about that at first when I shot this video, so I just barely noticed that now. So if you were to have them um, walk to the middle, suggesting you have like a, a break point where you want them to be exactly there simultaneously together so I would say like this two pillar right here why if, we, if they were to walk together I would want them <clears throat> to both end up um, at this spot here that way it will make your job easier so I didn't think about that uh, I just thought about that now so in case you guys want to do this effect you should um, mark your, your uh, point because um, let me show you the second video you see the second video they have a different outfit okay but I want them to be at the same point that way I can make the transition otherwise if one of them were to walk faster than the other one it would not work and it might ruin the whole video so I'm I'm happy that I'm able to take the second shot and they're able to be exact on the spot that I wanted it. Um, so yeah, let's um, move on to the video. Since uh, we got that out of the way, keep that in mind. Okay, for this shot, I'm going to have to um, try to align them together. So before I align them together, let me see. Like, for example, like right here. And I press the mute. Just kind of mute up the whole uh, whole clip. That way you don't have to see this clip. You could work on the bottom clip. So I move this to the spot where it's kind of look the same where they at. So this this is pretty much uh, pretty close. In order to really see it, you could just lower down the opacity. So it's, it's about right there. Let me try to. I think this is. Funny. But uh, let me try to match up the the stair really quick, and I come back. Okay, so um, as you can see, I. Uh, I try my best to uh, align the clip the best I could. So, from one, another thing what I learned from this is yes, use a tripod. Uh, that's one of the mistakes I made. So, but it seemed okay. I can get away with it. Um, as you can see, it's not perfectly aligned. And as you see, the, the actor is not perfectly uh, in sync but it should work out it shouldn't be that big a deal you could get away with it so from here on um, just go down to your cropping okay here you will want to um, crop to a certain uh, area like for example like where transition begin uh, I want the actor to come in and then it's change. I think this might be okay. Let me see. The for this side is okay. So let's work on this side. So let's just crop this down too. Actually, I don't want this. 
but there will be a, a black here so it will hide it mm, try Okay, we can adjust it later as you see here yeah we can adjust that later okay that looks pretty okay so now I want like a border here that way it can hide some of the flaw it, it probably looked like a part of it but it actually helped me hide some of the flaw so let's move this um, let's bring the clip down okay and uh, since this is the middle clip This is the middle clip, so I'm gonna put a uh, a border under here. Instead of doing two separate pillar, I can use a uh, solid color right here and just drop it down here. I just suspend this. Okay, now all you have to do is just uh, crop it. So go down to your cropping. Uh, left side. Let's bring this right here. And the right side. Bring this right here. Let me see how that looks like. Maybe a little bit more on the right side. Probably could get away with that, right, guys? Do you think? <laughs> okay, let me um, let me try and bring this a little bit. See if I could bring it to make it more even. Could this look our balance? Um, let's see, so what am I doing? Okay, that looked not bad, it looked a little even, so um, let's just save this for now. Now, um, let's see if I can 
que me mete lo que me... So you notice how the the metal is kind of a little shaky. You know that's because I'm not on the tripod. But I'm gonna do some animation where I can just like uh, swipe through. So for here, that way make it more look look uh, very natural. Um, so yeah, let's uh, change the color for this both. So I'm just gonna go down to um, this clip here. I'm gonna go down to color, and I'm gonna change it to uh, black and white. So I'm gonna go down to this spot. You could just bring down the saturation. Ah, just make it easier. Just click a black and white. Oh, this is not the clip. Yeah, just change this uh, black and white. You know. So let's go back to uh, my edit. So we have this walking and then look good so far. I can uh, work on it, make it a little bit better. Uh, let me try some. Um, let me do some uh, animation. So let's just say from here. I can I just swipe the whole thing. So I'm gonna go to this part here. Go down to my my cropping. Okay. I think I should go back a little bit. Let's see right here. Yeah, that right here. I will add a uh, keyframe. Also, on my uh, on my bar, I should also add the keyframe. That way, it will move together at the same time. So from here, let's move. Uh, let's move to. Maybe that right here. And then I will move my Which you right here, that way I can see where my bar is at. And then um, then move the uh, maybe like a few frame up, and then just uh, just clear everything. Yeah, I should have done that earlier. Oh well, uh, it should be okay. Let me see. Ah, the stripe look pretty good. It's uh, it's not that bad. Uh, 
Um, what else should I add to it? Well, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, remember to use a tripod and remember to coordinate uh, a certain mark. That way you don't make the same mistake I do. Uh, this is not perfect, but you get the idea how to do this effect. So I hope this video helped. I see you guys next time.